has permanently changed how the police department protects and serves you. This new safety and reform plan has been in the works since the shooting of Sam Dubose last year. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live with the new information and what the community can expect. Tom? Well, Carol, in a sense, this is UC's collaborative agreement on community-oriented policing, and it was done voluntarily. No court order, no Justice Department involvement. The department hopes it can set the standard now for the rest of the nation. UC's Board of Trustees normally doesn't make policy, but stepped forward in this case to set policing standards because of the importance to the community. Presidents come and go, but the board level can set policy. This is what we expect for our police to do, for our police to be interactive with the community. There are six principles that will guide the department. Transparency, legitimacy, accountability, fairness, collaboration, and innovation. They were developed in collaboration with the Community Advisory Council. Every training, policy, procedure, practice that we do is going to be based on these six fundamental principles. Robin Engel is UC's Vice President for Safety and Reform. What it really means is that we're going to have policing in partnership with our community that's fair and transparent and collaborative in nature, innovative in our data-driven strategies, uh, but also accountable to our public um, and to our constituencies. An independent monitor is being hired to make sure UC officers do what they say they are going to do. Police Chief Anthony Carter says he welcomes the challenge. We recognize that we can be better. We recognize that there's a need to improve. We recognize that that's a continuous effort. And, and in doing so, we recognize we, wanna, we want people to hold us accountable. This comes just days before the trial of former UC police officer Ray Tensing for the shooting of Sam DeBose in July of 2015. We want to be the, the, the gold standard. We want to be the bar. And that has to happen at some point. It's happening now, and, and moving forward, that's what we plan on being. Now, of course, Robin Engel says this is an historic moment for the police department. She just came back from the International Association of Chiefs of Police meeting in San Diego, 15,000 police chiefs. She said this reform, this document, was the talk of the conference. People wanting to know how Cincinnati has done it. Tom McKee, not on your side, live on the University of Cincinnati Clifton campus.